What's up boys and welcome to another brand new video on the channel and today we do have something a little bit different but something that has been requested. We have got an away days tier list for the 92 English clubs. Now just to note before I get into it that there are some grounds that I've been to that are not on the list um, because they were in the league and aren't anymore. Teams like Hartlepool and York and stuff like that so those won't feature and I haven't visited every ground. I believe I've done 61, I think. So there's quite a lot of coverage uh, in this video. Um, let me know down in the comment section. Do you agree with where I've put your team? Do you think my opinion's an absolute load of dross? That's probably going to be uh, what you guys think. Let me know down in the comment section. Also, let me know. Do you want me to do this? Um, I did this before, like a club slice slash rating of teams and so not based on away day just based on the club themselves if you want to see that I will do another tier list style video of that so let me know down in the comments and if you do enjoy the content something a little bit different don't forget make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new just throwing a few different types of videos out there before the fever stuff comes back anyway I'll stop waffling on and get in to the tier list so we've got the tier list ready. I believe the clubs are in alphabetical order as well. So it'll be easier to find your club if that's what you're here for. Now, the first one is acting to Stanley. Can I just say as well, the rating system. We've got an elite tier. We've got a class visit. Obviously, of course, that's class. We've got a solid visit. You know, good away day. We've got not bad, you know, not great. And then we've got absolute... Because it's very unlikely I dislike an away day. Then we've got absolutely tin pot. And then we've got never been. So, the, yeah, not bad isn't great. I want to put it that way, okay? Now, first one is Acton Stanley. And I'm already close to putting this one in in the elite tier. Um, Aki as an away day is quality, right? you got very cheap pubs. Um, it, it's a good laugh. It's easily accessible from ground to the town. There's a great chippy outside. However, there is no roof on the away end, or wasn't the last time I was there, and that puts it in just in class. But I love Aki away. Now, technically, my last visit to Wimbledon, I'm going to Plough Lane as the next away day. But when they were playing at Kingstonian, I'm throwing it in absolutely tin pot. Shocking ground, pubs around, it's just terrible. Wimbledon away, you can't see anything. I'm six foot four and I can't see anything. Wimbledon away, shocking. Now, Arsenal... Arsenal, I have been, this was a long time ago, in the FA Cup. Um, from what I remember, it's it's a solid visit. Um, like, just from what I remember. I can't, I mean, this was back in the day when I was going on the travel club. So, um, we didn't get a chance to do too much around. But the ground itself is absolutely fantastic. Um, do you know what, actually, just for the, just for the ground itself... Um, the atmosphere on the day was really good. The ground itself, like, even though I like Spurs, the, the, you know, the Emirates is awesome. So I'm actually going to put it in class. I'm going to I'm gonna go for a class visit. Shame, I've been outside Villa Park many times. Never actually been, but I would assume that Villa is very, very far up there. Mm, Barnsley, I'm actually going to throw in the not bad category. Only been there once on a Tuesday night. And unfortunately, we didn't properly go into the town. We went to some, like club near it it wasn't great it wasn't terrible so i think it's kind of unfair to chuck it into absolutely tin pot or solid so we'll throw barnsley in the not bad category birmingham i'm sorry i'm just throwing it straight away absolutely tin pot um i mean to be f and not really many places to drink for me around the ground i didn't think it was great um it, it's just a bit meh to be honest with you i know you can go into the middle of birmingham but yeah, I'm sorry, Birmingham City. You are going in the tin pot away day section. Blackburn Rovers. I would say that Blackburn is a solid visit away day. They've got a great pub on the roundabout by Alan Shearer away. There's an Aldi if you need to stock up on booze for your minibus. Um, there's, there's a McDonald's not too far away as well. It's a good ground. I like Blackburn. We, we haven't really managed to get out of kind of the around the ground area yet. So I can't go for class or elite yet, but... Blackburn is definitely a solid visit. Now, I think we have our first contender for the elite category, and that is going to be Blackpool Way. I love Blackpool. Now, no offence to people at Blackpool. I think if you live there, I, you know, maybe not the greatest place in the world to go for a lads weekend or an away day. It's absolutely bloody brilliant. You've got pubs. You've got food. You've got everything. It, it, you know, it's a good ground. You've got a good view. It's, it's just class, right? You can make a weekender of Blackpool Way. Get that in the elite tier. 
It's just come to realise, actually, that I may have to speed up on a few of them because this might take a long time to do. Bolton Wanderers. We went there. My friend Kipper and Barnabas bought 120 Jaeger bombs. It might have even been 200 Jaeger bombs for 120 quid. I can't remember. Bolton goes in the class visit, though. Good ground. Only downside being it's quite far away from the town. However, lots of pubs, cheap pubs. Uh, it, it was a great day out, so Bolton definitely goes into class. Now, Bournemouth, I have never been. Um, not a top fan, unfortunately. Bradford is another one which goes up in the class visit, I think. I like Bradford away. Great pub. I think the Queen's Arms near the metro station, really, really good pub. Another good chippy there. You get, you got a good chippy, you get a good rating, right? That's how we work. Bradford, I also put up on the class visit. Had some great days out there. Good stadium, good ground again. Brentford, not not a top fan ever been. Brighton, not a top fan ever been. Bristol City, ugh. Bristol City's a tough one actually because it's 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 kind of like how do I put this? I hate Bristol Rovers away and Bristol City. I'm going to throw a not bad. Bristol's a a lovely place. My sister lives there. Like I really like Bristol. It's just Bristol Rovers. Uh, Bristol City is kind of like outside a little bit. Bristol Row is in filter. Like, I hate going to Gloucester Road. It's the same as anything. Like, the grounds are absolute shambles. Like, you can't see anything. I, 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 I just can't. I, Bristol Row, I, to be fair, I look forward to the day, as in I don't like Bristol Rovers. But I, you know, as in going, no, nah, I, I can't deal with that. And I only give Bristol City not bad because their ground isn't an absolute shambolic mess. Um, I've never been to Burnley. I think... Burton is another one I'd put in the not bad category. You know, you've got a standing terrace. It's a small place, but there's some nice pubs. It, it, nothing too exciting there. But, no, I don't think this has been updated because I believe... Is that Berry? I think that's Berry. I, I believe that's Berry. So I don't actually think this has been updated for a little bit. So I do apologise. I'm using a slight about, out of date one. But Berry, to be fair, was actually a good away date. Lovely pie there, actually. One of the best I've had. Cambridge, get that in the tin pot. I cannot stand Cambridge away. Well, they're on a Tuesday night this year. Stupidly expensive pubs. They've got cows in the away. It's just stupid. I don't even want to... That's it. That's all the time I'm giving them. It's rubbish. Cardiff, I'd have to put in not bad because I have only been there once. Was a lot younger. Wasn't entirely sure. You know, we didn't really go into the town. I'm sure if I knew a bit more about it, I could give a bit more of a... But that one, not too much. Carlisle is another one that goes into the class visit. Farthest away day of the year for us and for Carlisle. Very far, but nice place. Good pubs, good food facilities. Ground is decent as well. I like a little bit of Carlisle away. And it goes up there as well just for the distance. Right, what I will do is I'll try and go a little bit quicker on some and explain my decisions. But I kind of want to give every team a fair scope. So, do you know what? If it ends up being a longer video, it ends up being a longer video. Next up is Cholton. I'm going to put Cholton up in class. Um, slight bias there, I've got a lot of friends that are Charlton fans, but it's a great ground, uh, really good atmosphere normally at the Valley, and the fact that where you're located in London, you've got like Cutty Sark and that not too far away, there's a lot of good pubs, it's easily accessible, kind of like a London away day, I'm putting Charlton up there in class, and they've got, a, the, the thing is they've got a chippy by the way, it's a good chippy, chip shops get you rating, right, it would be solid, but the chip shop makes it into class, Chelsea, I've been to the ground, but I've never actually done it as an away day, Cheltenham is another one, really, that I think I have to put in class. I, they don't necessarily have the chippy, but I do really enjoy... There's a great pub, Moon Over the Water, in Cheltenham. They've got a great little cluster. There's a Sainsbury's there if you're looking for a cheeky meal deal. I know there's a Mackey's around the corner. I really like Cheltenham away, actually. I think we've got them on Boxing Day this year. Just tends to be a good atmosphere, good vibes. I'm going to put Cheltenham in class. I'm tempted to throw it in solid, but... I, do you know what? I'm moving it. I'm mo Only because of the lack of chippy. It's going in solid. Colchester is another one that unfortunately has to go into the absolutely tin pot stage, right? The ground is so far from the town centre. I mean, literally, that's all you need to know. I've been there absolutely hungover on a lads weekend. Uh, the town is, uh, you know, it's okay. We've been there once. It was a good pub. It was a good pub that we went in. However, just because of the fact that the ground is so far away, I'm throwing it in absolutely tin pot. Commentary is one that goes into not bad. I've been there once on a Tuesday night. You have got some good stuff outside the ground, Frankie and Benny's and stuff like that. However, it's just a little bit soulless, really. Um, I mean, if I was to say go into Coventry a bit more, it might be a bit different. But saying that, actually, I've been there twice. I did go in there on Saturday. There's a good pub down the road, but I'll put it in not bad. Crawley's another one that kind of is, like, not bad. It's mainly because, again, of a good pub. There is one good pub 
around the corner from the away end at Crawley. Like, they got a pool table, dartboard. They got, like, four pool tables, I think. Dartboards, good atmosphere, good drink. Apart from that, I mean, there's... It kind of is just a bit meh. But because of that one pub, they're saving it from going into absolutely tin pot. I'm going to throw it into not bad. Crew, actually, once again, it's got to go in class visit. Good away day. Always good atmosphere there at Crew. I'm not necessarily a fan of being on the side of the ground. But... Um, great chippy, great chippy. They got a really good stretch of pubs there. There was a Domino's if you're a pizza fan. Crew goes into class. Crystal Palace, unfortunately, not a top fan. I've never been. I've never been to Derby. Now, for kind of one, I have to put Doncaster into elite. I love Donny Rovers away. They've got a bar there, Baller Sports Bar. It's class. They got darts, pool. They they do us always do us good deals on Jaegers in there. Um, they got about four KFCs if you like your food. It's I love Donny Away. Donny Away is one of my highlights of the year. I always look forward to it. That goes up into an elite away day. Everton, only been outside the ground. Not actually been there to watch a max. Exeter City, of course, we just throw in absolutely Tim Pot. Saying that, actually, to be fair, I have to kind of be honest here and say that I think it's an away day. Exeter probably actually isn't really that bad. Um, there are a few good pubs in town. The ground is an absolute... I, I'd put it in not bad. And that's me... Like, I'd put it in not bad. Like, they, they've... The away end does have a roof now. They have done up the away end a bit. Obviously, we still can't stand them. And just the fact that they're local rivals, I'll throw them in tin pot. But they're probably realistically in not bad. Fleetwood is one that... Uh, it, it's practically absolutely tin pot. But it, it just sneaks its way into not bad because there's one good pub. I mean, there's basically nothing in Fleetwood, right? There's a tram stop. A chippy that was all right. I was disappointed with my chippy visit in Fleetwood. There's like one good pub on this little strip. It's not a bad pub. For that reason, it climbs its way out of Absolutely Tim Pot into Not Bad, but it's only just there. Forest Green, I don't even want to talk about that. Just get it in Absolutely Tim Pot. Fulham, I've never been. Uh, Gillingham is another one. For the for the away end alone, Priestfield, sort it out, okay? It's like 80-year-old scaffold. For the away end alone... Gillingham just absolutely, categorically goes into absolutely tin pot. Grimsby goes into solid visit. I've only been there once. Um, saw us lose and actually lose winning the league, which was a tough day. However, once again, and I know you're going to hear me say it. I mean, note in the comment how many times I say the word chip in this video. One of the greatest fish and chip shops I've ever had. Quality pub. KFC opposite it as well if you fancy something a little bit different. Away end is kind of old school classic. I put it in a solid visit for Grimsby. Huddersfield, I have never been. Not a top fan. Hull, I've never been. Ipswich, I've never been, but I will be going this season. I can finally tick off the Tractor Boys. Do you know what? We're on a big run here. Leeds, I've never been. Leicester, I've never been. Leighton Orion, I would actually throw up there as a solid visit. I know they're actually no longer... Well, they did get relegated. Um, Leighton Orion is a solid away day. Uh, you've got round the corner. There's a really good pub again. I know there's a Tesco right there. Kind of like like the atmosphere in their way down. I look forward to Leighton Orient. It's normally a Tuesday night game, but it's a good it's a good away day. I would get, I would put Leighton Orient as a as a solid visit away day. Same again, really with Lincoln. Only been there once. Um, it was FA Cup. We drew nil nil, but it was it, it, they've got a good strip of pubs there. Good food facilities like. It's kind of like, once again, a bit of an old school type ground. But fair play, they had like a drum and almost like a zoo corner type thing. I like Lincoln away, so I'll put that as a solid visit. But we might visit that one again. Liverpool is one of those that, for me, has to go up there in class visit. I had a fantastic day. Um, I think even if we lost that game, the fact we drew 0-0. It was one of the worst games of football I've ever seen. But we drew 0-0, which was absolutely awesome. But the place itself, Liverpool's great uh, inside the... You know, the city centre, loads of stuff to do there, some really good bars. Cavern Club was absolutely awesome. So, yeah, for me, from my Liverpool experience, I would put it up there in class visit. See, Luton's another one which might divide. The thing is, is I kind of want to put Luton in solid visit. I actually really enjoy Luton away. It's an away day that I do look forward to. I mean, Luton as a place isn't the greatest. Like, it, it really isn't, but... In my opinion, and I know people are going to probably melt down about that, but like I look forward to looting away. I kind of like, once again, it's one of those atmosphere type things. It's one of those grounds that I tend to look forward to certain away games through the season. Luton would be higher, but it's just it's Luton, and I think all football fans kind of well know this, shall we say? Um, next up, we have got Macclesfield Town. I have been to Macclesfield Town, and. 
I'm going to put what once again in solid visit. Um, they don't have a roof or anything. It is a very, very old type of ground. Um, but they did have, I think it was called the White Hot. Very good pub. Very good pub. And I did have a minced beef and onion pint there. It was that bad. It was good. So, Macclesfield, you make your way into solid visit. Now, I've never been to City. Uh, I've never been to United. Mansfield away is a, is a weird one. For some reason, there's always a bit of, like, tension whenever we go to Mansfield. I'm going to put it in not bad. And that's only because it's one of them where the, the, the day's vibe kind of gets ruined a little bit at Mansfield away. Like, they, they're one of these sort of, like, places that don't really like away fans. So, a part, it's quite hard to find a solid pub to drink in, whether they want to let you in or not. They have got a Barry King and a KFC outside the ground, which is obviously solid. But I'll, I'll put Mansfield in not bad. Uh, Middlesbrough, I've um, I've never been. I've been to Millwall. Um, to be fair, because we spent most of the time in London, Millwall was actually a decent visit. So I'm going to throw Millwall in solid visit. As an away day, it was it was it was good. It's the same as MK Dons. MK Dons goes in solid visit. I, like, I mean, food facilities outside the ground are bloody fantastic. It's it's soulless inside. It's a lovely stadium, but it's soulless. But I, I did quite enjoy it. I think we went to some. We went just outside Milton Keynes, a couple of really good pubs. It was a good day. I enjoyed it. Now Morecambe is going to shock a few people, but I actually put Morecambe in the elite tier of away days. I love Morecambe away, and it's close to Fleetwood, but it's like totally different. Um, on the seaside, um, like it's 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 kind of like a nice ground. Um, I don't know what it is. It's the journey. There's some unreal pubs in Morecambe. Like, uh, and just going back on like the banana bus, we've had some sick memories, some great times. For that reason, I blew in love Morecambe away, and I'm putting that in elite tier. Newcastle, I did a long time ago. Um, I'm going to put that in solid visit just because that was when I was a lot younger as well. That was an FA Cup game. I think we lost 3 0, but it was kind of one of them travel club type things. So, but because of the way the ground is and stuff, I'll throw it in as a solid visit. Newport would be an absolutely tin pot, but they had the only reason I'm going to throw Newport in not bad is because they've got like a new, I think it's called Potters, like a new kind of like roof bar there. They're, they're slowly doing up the infrastructure of Newport and they've now got Nando's near the ground. And I mean, you know, that boosts them up a little bit. All right, that boosts them up a little bit. But the away end is absolutely vile. Uh, it's horrific. We've nearly fallen through it. So... Northampton is another one I'm going to kind of throw in not bad. Um, the ground is really far away from the town. They've got, they did have a pub there that's no longer there. So you kind of have to go very far away to get to a pub. Although there's good food facilities and stuff around the ground. Northampton go in the not bad tier. Uh, I've never been to Norwich. I've not done Notts Forest, but I've done Notts County. So I probably could tell you that Nottingham Forest, they've got a Hooters bar and very close to the ground. So, you know, you judge as you may. Oldham, I'm going to throw in the not bad category. I have only been once and it was right at the end of the season. I can't really remember it too much. So I can't remember it being awful. I can't really remember it being great. So I'm just going to throw Oldham in not bad. Oxford instantly an absolutely timpot. If your ground's got three sides, then I'm sorry. But you, I refuse to get anything else on that. Peterborough's another one. Do you know what? I'm actually throwing Peterborough in absolutely timpot. They charge you £26-£27 for a wooden seat on the side of the ground, which is instantly a blooming rip-off. The pubs are disgustingly expensive. I, you know, I just, there's something about Peterborough away where I just think it's crap. So, it, it, Peterborough can stay an absolutely temple. I'm throwing them in there. I, I don't care. I, I, I'm, this is biased, but Argyle's an away day, I'm sorry, would be class, right? There's so many pubs to drink in. It's cheap. We've got chip shops. We've got food facilities. We've got pasties. I don't know what else more you want on an away game. No, I think if you're an away fan, Argyle is going an elite away day for them up there. Port Vale is almost absolutely tin pot, but Port Vale goes in not bad. It was my first ever game on the banana bus. We lost 4-0 on New Year's Day. For that reason, they just get into not bad. It, it, Burslem, you know... Stoker are a much bigger team, but we'll we'll just we'll leave them and not bad. Now, another one that I might get some stick for. Pompey goes into elite for me. I can't stand Portsmouth. Portsmouth can't stand me, and I'm absolutely fine with that. However, I love Pompey away. It's probably the away day I look forward to most in a season. Um, you've got so many places to drink. 
Um, the, the atmosphere, no matter what you say, I mean, sometimes it can be a bit dead, but there's always energy and, and like, I'm always buzzing for Pompey away, and I love it. So, for that, Pompey just goes into the elite tier because it's my favourite, I think, my probably my favourite away day of the season. Now, I've never been to Preston. I know a lot of people are going to be saying not a top fan. Never been to QPR. Reading just goes into Tim Pot. You've got a ground in the middle of nowhere. Um, very weight throws. Yeah, just, I don't think I even want to comment much more on that. Rochdale definitely goes out there as a class visit. Ridiculous chippy outside the away end. Uh, we've had some quality, quality away games there. Some really good pubs in the town. Love Rochdale away. Definitely, definitely going to throw that one in class. Rotherham, I think, goes down as... I'm going to put Rotherham as a solid visit. We had some really good fun with the Rotherham fans actually playing like headers and volleys across the street. The pub we were in, actually, they looked after us. It's one of those places as well that's like... Very against away fans and stuff, but good ground, good atmosphere. I enjoyed it. We'll put it up there in solid visit. Salford, just because they're Salford, instantly goes into absolutely tin pot. Some of the teams are actually starting to appear twice, so we only need to go down to uh, Wickham. So we're nearly there, actually, at the end. I'm sorry for going on. Scunthorpe is another one, which I'm actually going to put in solid visit. It, it Scunthorpe is what well, it is. It's Scunthorpe, but I think it's called the Drawbridge. I, I love a memorable pub. There's a really good pub in Scunthorpe. There's a few decent ones. I kind of enjoy it as an away day. The away end is a bit like it's not the greatest in the world. They've got a roof. Like, I like it. Scunny away is another one that I kind of do like, so I'm going to put it in solid visit. I have been Sheffield United. Same again. Sheffield's a really good place, really good city. I... I did go on the banana bus, but I don't remember it too much. I know we lost 3-0 in the FA Cup, so I'm just going to throw it in solid. Not been to Sheffield Wednesday yet. Shrewsbury definitely goes up there in class visit. It's not far off Elite, actually. Um, very good pubs in the town. It's just one of the pubs that we used to go to closed down. But, no, I like Shrewsbury away. Good atmosphere, good away end. Ground's a little bit out from the town, which I always find is like a... I don't know why I always like to mark it down for that. But, no, I like Shrewsbury. I'd say that's a, a way to look forward to. Southampton is not bad. I've only done it once, and I actually did it with Chelsea. Um, I got invited to go with some friends, so I went along with them. Shout out to Hazard and Adam B, and Pedro as well. Went to Chelsea away, uh, to Southampton away. It was all right. There was a Spoons kind of not too far away. Ground's a bit... Yeah, it was not bad. It wasn't absolutely tin pot, but I'd put it in not bad. South End, actually, unfortunately not in the Football League anymore. Would put them in elite tier. I blooming love South End away. More ship shops so you can shake a stick at. Probably the best pub out of all of these, the Railway Pub in South End. The landlord always used to look after us. Used to let us park there a few times, like whenever, well, pretty much whenever we wanted. Um, loads of facilities around the ground. Sort of a classic, rustic type ground. Good atmosphere. Loved South End when we went there. So, South End, you are going into elite tier. Uh, I believe that's Stevenage. I actually am going to put Stevenage, um, shockingly here, into class visit. Stevenage is one of them as well. It's really good. They got the old town there, some quality pubs. Probably the best burger in the football league. Just want to throw that out there. But, you know, they got a roof. They got some really good pubs. I enjoy Stevenage away as a day. So, Stevenage, you're getting into class visit. We're nearly done. Stoke, I've never been. Um, Sunderland is also, I think, another one that goes up into class visit. Um, like, as much as I like to wind their fan base up about the uh, Netflix documentary, um, like, they were sound like really nice people. I mean, people up north are always nice, right? Sunderland, really nice people. Um, there's some really good pubs around the ground as well, and some in town, depending on where you do it. Um, the ground's quality, the atmosphere is really good. So, and because it's one of the longest, well, it is our longest journey of the season. I have to throw it in class visit. Swansea, I'm sorry, I'm throwing them in tin pot, right? I'm telling you why I'm throwing in tin pot. You've got a big screen, so you can't bloom and see after the game. You've got the the ground is about eight million miles away from the town. You've got no taxi service. Just get in tin pot. Get in tin pot. Swindon's another one. You've got a roundabout with five exits in the middle of nowhere. Tin pot. Tottenham goes up to class visit. The, the, the stadium is ridiculous. Um, one of the best stadiums I've ever been in. Yes, I'm biased. Uh, to be fair, though, Arsenal are also in class visit. So you can't call me too biased, even though I got her above it. All right. Tottenham. Stadium's unreal. For that reason alone, class visit. Tramia. Only been there once. And I would say that it was a solid visit. It was quite good. There's a Tesco around the corner from the ground. Always a hallmark of quality if you're looking for a good meal deal. Sorry, I'm rushing. I'm just trying to make sure I finished it in time. Walsall's another one that's solid. It's quite good, Walsall, because we normally take the train in from the ground, uh, from the town. It goes to Bescott. 
Any ground where you can drive and take a train, I'm putting that in solid visit. I've never been to Watford. I've never been to West Brom, but West Brom do have a McDonald's right outside the away end, so they probably go in close to elite tier. Same, I haven't done West Ham. I've been to Olympic Stadium, but just to watch, um, just to watch Olympics. Right, the last three I have done. Wigan, I'm going to have to put Wigan in not bad because last time we got there a little bit late. We had to drink by a gala bingo and a Frankie and Benny's outside. So Wigan are going to slide their way into not bad. That's where I'm going to put, that's where I'm going to put Wigan in not bad. Um, Wolves is another one that I'm going to put in not bad. This was back when I was a wee tacker. I actually missed the goal because it was first minute. Uh, Paul Gallagher scored an overhead kick and I was buying a pie underneath so I legitimately missed that goal and the last one of all I'm not even going to discuss them let's not talk about them throw them in absolutely tin pot and be done with it so there you go that is my away days tier list um, from elite down to class down to solid down to not bad down to absolutely tin pot down to never been hopefully you did enjoy this video something a little bit different um but hopefully it was up your alley if you did enjoy as always don't forget make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new and uh, if you want to see me do this with like rating teams in terms of like their size or what i think of them just uh let me know and i will do that thanks again for watching stay safe and i'll catch you in the next one peace